People like Ryan Dand are lucky to have Dr. Emil Kakis in their lives because he is more than just a friend and a doctor. They predicted that he would pass away before the age of 10, but this doctor refused to give up, and that decision proved to be the deciding factor in his survival. Imagine that a group of medical professionals came to your home and informed you that your child would not live past the age of 10. How would you feel? That would mean that your child would never go to middle school, go to his first dance, drive a car, or graduate from high school if that were to happen. This was the reality that Mark and Jean Dant of Texas were forced to face with regard to their cherished son, Ryan. He was only three years old when doctors determined that he had a rare genetic condition known as mucopolysaccharidosis type 1, which is abbreviated as MPS1. Sugar cannot be broken down properly within the bodies of those affected by this condition because they lack a particular digestive enzyme. This results in a buildup of it in the body, which in turn leads to serious issues that threaten one's life. The news was devastating for Mark and Jean, but they chose not to give up hope despite their emotions. They made the decision to put up a fight for their son's life as they crept into his bedroom in the middle of the night to listen to him breathe. The parents decided to establish a charity in their son's name in the hopes of one day finding a treatment or a cure for his illness. Because of God, they had the assurance that there was a solution. It was possible to treat or cure their son in some way. They followed their hopes and their faith until it brought them to Dr. Emil Kakis. God arranged for Mark and Jean to have a chance encounter with an outstanding physician who had been researching this condition for many years. He was on the verge of making a significant discovery, but his funding was about to run out. Where there is God, there is a way. Gene Dant and Mark Dant had established the Ryan Foundation, and it had just enough money to contribute to the advancement of Dr. Kakis's research. In the end, he was successful in finding a treatment for the condition, and Ryan was one of the first ten people to participate in the trial. Meeting Ryan and Mark and Jean gave me inspiration as to what this was really about. It's not a science project, it's a human project to save Ryan, he said. Dr. Emil Kakis was not suffering from any illness as a result of this miraculous encounter. He was engaged in a struggle to save Ryan's life. Through this incredible, groundbreaking journey, Dr. Kakis became a close family friend. Despite the fact that Ryan did not recover, he's now 34 years old. Can you believe it? Dr. Kakis's research resulted in the development of a medication called Adurazyme, which served as the impetus for Ryan's physical and mental maturation. Dr. Kakis was able to witness all of Ryan's life milestones, from his high school graduation, to his college graduation, and even his wedding. Isn't it incredible how God can take total strangers in this world and give them the ability to save the lives of other people through their actions? Simply meeting someone for the first time can be the beginning of a lifelong friendship that compels us to sacrifice everything for the benefit of another.